When you think about the 80s, what do you think of? New Coke? Nintendo? Other stuff that comes up in Stranger Things? What about sitcoms? While the 80s aren't necessarily considered on par with some other decades when it comes to television comedy, it was no slouch either. We're not just talking about the big guns like Cheers either, or Seinfeld which technically began in 1989 but it's thought of very much as a 90s show, and with good reason of course. These are five 80s sitcoms worth checking out that aren't the huge shows you've already likely seen or decided you prefer not to. Like a certain show about a bar where everyone knows your name. Number one, New Heart. The Bob Newhart Show helped the titular star transition from comedy records to sitcoms in the 70s, but some feel like his follow-up show New Heart was even better. This time, Newhart ditched both parts of his name to play Dick Loudon, a writer and local TV host in Vermont who also runs a bed and breakfast with his wife Joanne. It's a show about local eccentrics and another chance for Newhart to play the straight man, which he does with aplomb. It took a couple seasons to get going admittedly, but from season 3 on, Newhart is as strong as any 80s sitcom. Number 2, Night Court. The law is often the purview of the drama. Cops? Sometimes they get comedies. Lawyers, on the other hand, and the legal system? Comedy usually steers clear. Night Court, however, steered right into it. John Larroquette was such a standout as Dan Fielding that he won four Emmys for Night Court. How many classic sitcoms can say they have a four-time Emmy winner in the cast? Not to say that this is The Larroquette Show, as it was a fine ensemble cast. Number 3, Kate and Allie. Jane Curtin is a comedy legend. She was a member of the original Saturday Night Live cast and in the 90s was part of the popular sitcom Third Rock from the Sun. What did she do in between those projects though? Well, from 1984 through 1989, she was starring in Kate and Allie alongside Susan St. James. The titular women are divorcees with children who decide to live together to ease their respective burdens. Both stars were nominated for Emmys twice, but it's Curtin who won both of her awards she was up for. Number 4, It's Gary Shandling's Show. Shandling's The Larry Sanders Show is an iconic sitcom, a biting, hilarious look behind the scenes of a talk show. Before that, though, Shandling was getting even more innovative. Shandling's eponymous Showtime program was extremely meta, often breaking the fourth wall. Even the theme song is meta, throwing you right into the mix. There aren't really other shows like It's Gary Shandling's Show. Heck, even the title is breaking the fourth wall. Number 5, Police Squad. Pol Police Squad only lasted six episodes but it was so stuffed with jokes it can feel like a full season's worth of comedy. Have you seen the Naked Gun movies? They all started with this short lived brilliant sitcom. That includes Leslie Nielsen playing Frank Drebin. Each episode of Police Squad is absurd and insane, but in a wonderful way. This is a short watch, but well worth it. That's it for this episode. Be sure to subscribe to Vents Magazine's YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Okay, that was a